Penalties in the third were, were costly, but five on five, were you pretty happy with the effort today? Yeah, we just we ran out of gas. You, you could feel it in the third. They, they started, uh, they had some pressure there earlier. We had a couple turnovers, which didn't help. And then, you know, the, the penalty we got called for it. I don't think it's a penalty because I think it's our own stick, which leads to the next one. You know, we're trying to jump by, hit them. Fortunate not to get a four probably on that one, but. They got a good power play. They made us pay for that, and then uh, you know we were we we're kind of reeling from there. I know your goal was to go out and get a lead in this one. How important was that, and in, in your ability to, to control things for the first couple of periods? Yeah, I thought first half of the game, we we're real sharp, you know, and, and we still we needed more guys tonight to be on their game, and we had, had a few guys that just weren't weren't locked in, and it, it cost us tonight. But um, yeah, we you know you you're, you're thrilled to build the lead because you you need it, especially on the road. And you know, and you're you're on your back to back here. So, like I said, we just ran out of gas and got a little bit sloppy, and it cost us. Is Elvis returning to as close to the old Elvis as you've seen? I mean, it's another pretty strong start for him tonight. Yeah, this has been coming. It, this isn't like two in a row. This is yeah. we're we're now you know uh, several games and, and dating back quite a ways. So this is a real positive sign to watch him uh, play with more confidence. He's got more swagger. He, he's looking much more like himself. I mean, just. Uh, I guess when you look at the bigger picture of, of Elvis, I mean, he's got four more years here. Uh, I mean, he's the guy at this point, right, going forward, as far as we know. Um, how important is it for him to kind of get just back to being himself, like you just mentioned? Well, yeah, it, his it, season. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, he's he's not happy with how it's gone the, the, the first uh, chunk of the season. So he's like some other – he's trying to find it. And, and, you know, he's on a long-term deal. So – you, you, you can't just throw away a year and say, you know, we'll look forward to next year. We still have a lot of games left. Yeah. And so the fact that he's starting to, to find his groove a little bit again and, and, you know, we have two goalies playing well, which is – that's the scenario I was looking for all year long, right? So this is this is a positive sign for both these guys. This has been a very interesting year for a number of reasons, mainly the injuries as we've talked about, mm -hmm. whatever, and it's given you a chance to play different guys in different roles. Mm -hmm. Tonight, uh, three on three, I think it was Crowley, Robinson, and uh, uh, Blanks out there, I believe, yeah. to start. Um, is it like when you're going there for three on three, you're just you're looking at guys that you feel are, are kind of feeling it at that point to put well, them out I, there? Well, you know, if, if for me, when I saw, I, I had a pretty good feeling he was going to start Kaprizov. <laughs> and, uh, you know, <laughs> coach's instinct there. Right? Um, so, you know, I just talked to those guys. It just try to take away his time and space. Sure. You know, and if, if we can allow him not to score, it sets up for my next shift, right? So I, I thought they did a good job. And, and uh, you know, Curls was my guy for, this, for the face-off too. So, um, yeah, you know, you're, you're, those, those guys have been giving really good minutes and really good games for – big chunk of this year so um, I wasn't worried putting them out there one bit it's kind of a uh, tough learning lesson I guess or if that's how you want to say it at the end you know Blanks tries to split the guys and then he's kind of hard it's, you know and there's a breakdown whatever but that's the kind of stuff you want these guys to learn right he's, uh, he's a rookie I mean they, 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 at some point they got to learn how to win in overtime right yeah you know what I have zero issue with him trying to split there he's okay. he's in yeah no you know, we can debate about whether call or not call. You know, True. obviously I'm on the side where I'm leaning one way. Yeah. I won't say where, but um, but he gets back, yeah. and and we blow our coverage uh, on the other end. Yeah. You know, Johnny swings off his guy. If he doesn't swing off Kaprizov, we're 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 okay. Right. Elvis can play the shooter, and and that's the details. You know, and, and maybe when you're tired, mm -hmm. you know, you lose your focus, and that's what it costs. Us. Babe Ruth are out there in the uh, the power play. Uh, were you liking what you saw in the minutes he got out there in, the, in that role? I mean, they were limited, but yeah, we're. I mean, you, you don't know, have many. <laughs> we're running out of demon, right? You know, so he said he played power play. He jumped on the power play about three or four games ago. Right, right. <laughs> he earned himself a spot. There you go. And a guy like Kaprizov gets hot like he did there in that third period. Is there anything you can do to slow him down? Uh. Yeah, I mean, you, you do it in fives. You know, we 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 face it the night four against a pretty good player too, McDavid, and those guys are special players. That's it, it, they do it. They do it at speed. Um, they can slow it down, speed it up. They're, they're passers, they're finishers. They, I mean, they they got all the all the tools in the bag. So, you know, we, we obviously we talk about it. There's a lot of tension drawn to them, but like any top guy, when they start to feel it and they get one or two, especially at home, it's different. Um, and, and they get energized, and that's what you want to avoid. If you can, you know, I, I loved it. It was a pretty good, boring game there at two nothing, and, and things were going, going well. But you know, they're, you know, we're, we're playing on our back to back. There, you know, the push is coming at some point. Um, 
and, and I think there was opportunities to, to take that push away, just manage the game better with the puck. And, um, but then, then he scores, he gets a second one, and now, now they're feeling pretty good. Yeah. And, and so that puts you in a dangerous spot. Those two games last year against this team were two of the most physical games I think we, we played last year as far as them kind of coming after mm-hmm. you. How nice was it this year to, you know, I mean, have Gabranson, have Olivier, have different guys in there for your own kind of bite back and, and push back in this Yeah, we, we've been through this for 60 games now. Right, it's, uh, but this team in particular. Yeah, the, the, I mean, that's you know, they're, they're a big heavy team. Mm-hmm. You know, they don't, they're not egregious. They they do what you're supposed sure. to do. They yeah. finish their checks. they got big bodies and, and they do it well. So um, having certain guys in our lineup this year, the temperature was different. Yeah. It feels like you've been building every single game the last five, six, seven that you've played. It was just the best of that stretch you feel like that you felt in that. You know? I mean, this is one of honestly in this four, five years that I'm here. Uh, this is one of my favorite buildings. I really love to play here. Uh, I played just twice here. I think twice I played good. Um, it's loud building. They have great fans. They are a great team. Uh, obviously, the first two periods were good, good, and then the, I knew it that the third period they're gonna come hard. And in, in, in first minute, I think I got five shots. Uh, it was it was it was really quick game. It was completely different game. Um, yeah, my last last five or whatever you said games are going good, feeling better each game. Um, but uh, yeah, I need those wins. Do you feel like you kind of started? That this this stretch that you're on kind of started around that night in Seattle, but like you were talking then that you felt pretty good then, and, and that your goal was to really pick it up the rest of the season from that. Point. Yeah, I just you know uh, I would say I just stop. It's gonna sound maybe bad, or I mean, you guys know me, you can understand what I'm about to say, but uh, I stopped caring. Um, I, I stopped just caring. Uh, it was it was tough start of the season. It's not what I wanted, uh, but you know it's it's hard to forget it. It's it hurts, but uh, it was the, the the break. I think the break, the All Star break, was great. Uh, going with my wife uh, in vacation, even if I did not deserve it, uh, I still went because my wife deserved it. Uh, with with my son and all that, she needed to relax more than I do. Um, so I was just kind of her backup friend to who to talk to at an <laughs> island. Uh, but obviously, honestly, uh, sitting by the beach and, and, and looking in, in just ocean and reading the book, it made me, made me that, that quick, quick release and like stop and thinking about, about what the hell is going on. And uh, I, uh, I did my way, I screamed. In the middle of the ocean, let it out, everything, uh, tears, screaming, everything, you know, get drunk, <laughs> whatever. Uh, I did everything, but uh, I got prepared as well. Yeah. I did practice. So. So you feel good uh, I think that break overall was it was great. Uh, it was it was great release mentally, what I needed, and uh, now I just have to keep keep going on the way what I am doing. Fellas, how does that translate into the ice? Just letting go of all of that stress or whatever it was you let go of it. How, how does that transfer into a night like tonight? I don't know how to explain you this. Uh, it's it's just like I said, I let it out, and I just start not even thinking whatever. Like my first year, uh, I was was working really hard with Manny, you know, when I was I wanted to be perfect in positions and technique and all that. And uh, then at one point when I start playing, I just I just said. I'm just gonna play my game and, and not think about position or oh he's there. What position should I use right now? You know, so I just stop thinking and just keep playing and enjoying the game and having fun. And uh, right now I'm having fun and enjoying the game. I really don't care if I do mistakes on the ice. Uh, I'm just I'm just out there and having fun. And and, and my teammates are helping me to having fun. Uh, they're blocking the shots. Uh, today they saved my ass a couple times. Uh, I still was out of the positions, whatever. Like I said, I don't care. My teammates were there for me, and uh, I'm going to be there for them. This afternoon, you, you started both the first and second periods with, with pretty big saves. How much did that help you get into the rest of those periods? And, and frankly, five on five, you were pretty solid all night. Obviously, I, 
you know, after one, two big saves, you build more confidence and, and you just keep going, going, going. Um, and you feel better and you and you feel that you are controlling the game. It's not the game that's controlling you. So uh, that's really important for a goaltender, I think. And, um, and yeah, uh, I was controlling the game. Uh, I really enjoyed this game. Would, would you say, it's, was it, is it, would it be fair to say that for a lot of this season you didn't maybe feel like yourself in the net and that now, I mean, it looks like you're back to feeling confident in, in the net. I, uh, I am confident. I am confident. Um, and, 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 you know, even on that break, I, I had to start thinking that I need to get back hockey wise, cocky, like I came over here. And uh, I feel that way, and I feel great. I'm happy that uh, right now it's, it's going the way how it has to go. But still, like I said, um, the first half, the first, first start of the season wasn't the one what I wanted. And um, I'm going to punish myself this summer for that, and uh, I'm going to get ready for, uh, for next season as well. Liam, another goal for you here uh, tonight, just being in the right place at the right time. But that right place is in the front of the net, and that's the place you've got to work to get to, isn't it? Uh, yeah, majority of goals in this league are scored around the net. So I'm um, just trying to hang around there more lately. And uh, luckily enough, I was there tonight, and it went in for me. This game doesn't end the way that you guys wanted it to, but uh, yeah. you can't complain about the effort, of course. And the, did you feel, and it's it's back to back, <laughs> right? You played yesterday, but did you guys feel like you had pretty good legs today? Uh, yeah, I think we did. Um, it was an earlier game yesterday and early today, but. Um, playing some tough teams right now. They're all fighting for playoff spots right now. So um, uh, after our last game against them, I think this was a much better performance all around for us. We were there and can't complain with how, how we did uh, tonight other than the outcome. When you talk about a much better performance, we've been saying that game after game after game now. So it seems like this team is finally at, at a spot where you guys have wanted to arrive, where you're taking not just getting experience, now you're putting that experience into play. Yeah, absolutely. I think when we've been uh, playing a lot better hockey lately, and that's something Larson's been saying. It's it's fun to watch, and it's, uh, we're enjoying it more when we're we're in games now, and it's it's a lot more fun that way. And um, sticking in there against a good team like that, it's always it's rewarding. But even though we didn't get the win at the end, you've had a stretch here through that where I think you've got good goaltending every night. Um, it's obvious how much it helps, but just when you've got the guys playing behind you the way those guys are doing, it has to just help the team really get into its game. Absolutely, uh, both of them back there. Each game they've been close, and then the other team has a, uh, a good chance and incredible saves back there each game. And whenever you get that, it gives everyone a boost and uh, it gets us going out there. So that it's always nice having those two uh, back there. How much are you feeling? I'm, probably, I'm sorry if you already answered this, but just chemistry with the guys that you've been out there with, you know, more, most recently. I think everyone's feeling a little bit more chemistry as the year goes on right now, and um, we're building on that each game. And like I said before, we're in a lot, uh, a lot more games right now, and they're a lot closer. So. Um, that's going to help everyone's chemistry out there. Start, which is what you wanted in this building, right? To get get a lead and protect that lead a little bit in the first couple of periods. Yeah, um, I think we played a pretty good road game. Obviously, they pushed hard in the third, um, and we were under pressure there, but we ended up getting the point, which is, uh, you know, we put ourselves in a position to win in overtime, and. Uh, just didn't happen for us, but overall, pretty good road game. And obviously, those back-to-back -back penalties in the third were really costly for you. Yeah, obviously, uh, five-on-threes are tough to defend, even if you got a really good PK. Um, you know, these teams are going to make you pay, and I think we saw it against Edmonton, and we also saw it tonight uh, with Minnesota with uh, their top unit there. So, yeah, definitely cost us, but, uh, you know, I, I can't stand here and say we didn't play hard tonight and give our best. We. Uh, like I said, we played a pretty good road game. Yes, you just saw them a couple of days ago. Do you feel like you, you, you gave them a better fight tonight than you did back at home? Yeah, absolutely. Our game at home, we, I think our first 10 minutes weren't that good, and that cost us the game. Um, uh, I think tonight it was a more complete game, although they did put us under pressure in the third period. And, um, you know, it's like I said, we, we brought them to overtime in their building. Everyone knows it's a hard building to come into, and, and um, you know, I. Can't say that our effort wasn't there tonight. This team obviously likes to play a really heavy, you know, physical game, uh, kind of custom fit for your game as well. Were, I know you weren't here last year. Were you aware of, of kind of how this game went last year for these guys? It was uh, a tough one as far as physical. Yeah, I've, I've heard uh, a little bit about what happened, and I think uh, that was part of the reason why they wanted to address that this summer. Um, again, I wasn't here, so I don't know exactly what happened, but uh, I didn't feel any of that tonight. Uh, doesn't didn't feel like they pushed us around. We stood right in there with them, and uh, you know that's that's what we wanted to do better as a team this year. And 
I feel as a team we've done that. You, so very yeah. proud. You get another goal tonight. Foodie gets another goal tonight. That, that's you know I know you guys want more than that, but uh, depth depth scoring starting to come through. Uh, yeah, how nice is that to you know kind of be at that point where you know, all lines are you know contributing pretty much every game. Yeah, that's what good teams do. You get scoring by your four lines, and um, you know really happy for Foods that it's it's finally going in for him. It's uh, it's fun to see him get rewarded and. Uh, you know, I've mentioned this plenty of times about our line, but uh, we know it's not our primary role, but we do love to contribute, and we want to do it every night if we can. So it's nice to get on the board uh, doing that, and, um, yeah, we can take that as a positive for sure.